I only married my wife because I owed her family $10,000, but now I want out. So I did something unspeakable. You know, <laughs> marrying someone for 10K of debt, uh, it's not the move. I'm yeah, gonna, get a loan. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that's not the move. Get a loan, maybe uh, get a couple goats, start a goat farm. Mm, there we go. Yeah. yeah. I went to a goat farm recently. I, I freaking love goat milk. I am also a fiercely passionate fan of goats. Yeah. Goat, goat milk stand and goat like just like. Oh, goat milk. I haven't had goat, goat milk. Goat milk stand for sure. Yeah. Also goat milk or also goats as like a. As a species. As a species. Yes. That is like, like they're very friendly creatures. So I'm, I'm, I'm down with the goats. We stand a goat. Yeah. Goat yoga. Oof. Ooh. All right. So growing up, I was the usual jerk. <laughs> My dad left me when I was around six. My mom was an alcoholic and abusive, and I basically was living in a dump with her. Life sucked like shit. Dang, that's not good. What an opener. The best part was going to school. No, it was not with teachers. They sucked. It was my friends who respected and accepted me for the jerk I was. <laughs> I enjoyed socializing with them. They made my day. However, they were big bullies. Now, I didn't give a crap about bullying. I knew it happened, but as long as I didn't do it or was the victim, I was fine. In comes the shy, scared, nervous-looking girl in middle school. Oh goodness. My girlfriends began to group up. My girlfriends began to group up and bully her for almost a couple of weeks, and I didn't care. I wasn't going to take part or be the victim. I just wanted to f and finish school at the time. The bullying continued for the girl. She would cry, hide, and try to stay away from school as long as she could. But then my friends locked her in a locker once, but I stopped them. Okay. Well, at least there's a lot. I hope yes. Yeah, yeah. I love how nonchalantly they're like, yeah, you know, they were just doing all kinds up. of things, bullying her to, to yeah. death. But like, ah, I, I let her out of the locker. <laughs> I'm a good, I'm a good person. Yeah. Um, because I let her out, I guess she used that opportunity to get to know me. When my friends skipped school, she would come and talk to me or sit near me at lunch. She would share her lunch with me since I had nothing. She helped me with my homework, which I had no idea about. She began to pay me to like help her, I guess, which I liked. I guess in return, I stopped my friends from getting to... I guess in return, I just stopped my friends from getting to her. I owed her that. As yeah. years went by, she invited me to dinner with her parents. We would hang out together and she'd pay for everything. Which again, I liked. Mm. I liked her, but she loved me. Ooh. If you know how that feels. As time continued to go by, I got my driver's license at 17. The problem was that a car would cost a lot of money, and insurance for a young person like my an insurance for a young person like myself was a lot. So I asked her parents for the money, saying I will pay them back. Terrible idea. <sighs> Terrible. Yeah. A teenager asking, I would be like, you know, we love you, but no. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Bad no. idea, especially for like a first car. You don't need it. You don't need a car. No, no. Use the bus. Yeah, that's right. Mm. Walk on your hands and knees. I knew they would say no. They should have said no. Everything would have been different if they did. Ooh. But they said yes oh. and bought me my very own car. Ooh. After that moment, I realized that I had to take care of their daughter, at least until I paid them back. I would drive her anywhere, everywhere, and we became closer and closer. She was so happy with me and always has a smile on her face when she sees me. It was her that kissed me first. It was her that brought me to her church. It was her that proposed to me. And it was both of us that got married to each other and gave each other our virginity. Man, this is the, 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 plot, the twist that we're taking here. We've we been married for 10 years tomorrow. Oh, I still owe her parents for the car and owe my wife all the cash she gave me. <laughs> I like her, but she loves me so much. I've never cheated on her or even thought about it. Our lives are perfect, but I wish I could let her know that I don't love her the way she loves me. <sighs> to conclude, I work a minimum wage job and my wife is a teacher. We don't have kids. She loves me so much, but if I could, I would take it all back. I would. This is my confession. There is an update. Oh, my. there is an update. Oh, but there, this, this post blew up and there's a bunch of comments. Right, right, right. So here's some. I don't know, man. It sounds like you do love her. I mean, you truly love her in the most important ways. You protected her when she needed it. You stuck with her for years through everything. She supported you in your time of need as well. And her family has been very supportive of you, it seems as well. 
All these things are a great foundation for a relationship. Well, didn't didn't always protect her, but yeah. I, get, I get the but sentiment. After, yeah, after. And also it's like, there's all these like myths of love where it's like you have to feel this certain way, but mm-hmm. really it's just like, at the end of the day, it, it becomes it's a practicality. In yeah, many, like in many like, senses. but like love, love looks different for everyone. Yeah, yeah. and I think you know it can look it can look like just showing up every day for yeah. this person, which That's true it seems like OP has or OP hates their wife and wants to run away to Canada and get a face transplant. <laughs> <laughs> Could be that too. <laughs> All right, wait. One more comment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You love her. You just have some mystical concept of love that you don't think you have. Mm. love is something and another comment love is something that grows over time if it's nurtured be each other's best friend be happy okay so there's a basically a bunch of comments like that yeah so update oh today i took my wife out to lunch for our anniversary when i saw her cute face i immediately felt different this is due to the fact that my thread blew up which lots of advice yesterday night so i went through all that nice i want to thank you guys and girls you know who you are you made me think of my wife differently today It was the first time that I actually told her I loved her without forcing myself to say it. At first, I muttered it under my breath, and my wife asked what I said. I tried a second time, and again, I couldn't speak up. Then I said it loud for a third time. My wife smiled, and her face turned all pink. We remained quiet for a little. We remained quiet for a little while until she began to ask me about my day. We talked for a little while before visiting her parents. I told her parents that I would start paying them back for the car they'd bought me when I was in my teens. They told me not to worry. They told me not to worry about it. They were happy that I remember and visit them, even though it wasn't their anniversary. We talked for a couple of hours. My wife and I returned home. It was then that I opened Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer, who uses that? <laughs> yeah, and, really. yeah. Yeah, if you want to wait like a great, billion years. Great ba- browser choice. Yeah. Open. Well, we make the whole story about yeah. that. <laughs> and oh. asked her wife to look at my th- and asked my wife to look at my thread. We sat down together and she read it. She began to cry while reading it and hugged me so tight. The last time I t- the last time I saw her cry was on our wedding night, and it was tears of joy according to ac- according to her. I told her I realized that I was treating her unfairly. I told her I wanted to be more loving towards her. I told her I loved her and she was my life. She told me wow. that I was her life, that I saved her from killing herself, and that without me, she wouldn't be happy. At this point, I was crying. My wife is currently sleeping. To conclude, I want to thank you all again for the advice. For the people that told me to pay my debts and leave her, I realized that I will stick my I I have realized that I will stick by my wife till death do us part, till death do us part, like I promised 10 years ago. She is my life right now, and I don't have to. And I don't want to have anyone by my side but her. Good wow. Night wow. Wholesome as heck. That is that is so wholesome. Wow. This that's like a complete turn because I at first OP was like, yeah, you know, I was a bully. I didn't care about people or anything like that. Like people, feelings, gross. And now OP, you know Bull what? Like hey, those. hey, OP, salute to you on your awesome growth. I yeah. actually love that. Yeah, we love we love a little uh, character arc. That's fantastic. Also, really quick, I, I just received uh, a text that I want to read on the podcast. Um, so this is, this is a friend from my music group, uh, named Chewy. What's up, Chewy. Uh, I'd like to thank John for the OKOP podcast. The new cod grind has been so exhausting, but listening to OKOP has been much smoother now that I'm halfway done. <laughs> so that's okay. awesome. Yeah. So, yo, I actually, you, Chewy. I need a, sh- I need a shout out someone too. Uh Oh, um, it's friend shout out day. Uh, so where is he? Okay, so uh, Mick Flagello, Fl- Fl- Flagello. Um, <laughs> I like how you're reading it like it's a random person, but it's someone you know. No, no, no. This is a random person. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, okay. Mick Flagello. Um, so a couple, of, like, like a long time ago. Yeah. Um, we're like, yo, if anyone's like clap cheeks to our episode, <laughs> you gotta let us know. And Mick is <laughs> t- t- <laughs> first thing he ever DM'd me. <laughs> He said, cheeks have been clapped to your voice. <laughs> and he's like following up with podcasts, not a random message. A big fan of you guys listen while I edit for work. And Mick is from San Diego. And he's like, dude, you should do some like live shows too. Um, and he says forever in San Diego to hit him up. Hell yeah. Um, oh, he also said, I'm listening to asking strangers questions. And right after you ask 60 miles per, uh, right after you ask the 60 miles per question, 
And right after you asked the 60 miles per hour question, it hit me with continue your education at the nation's top university at ASU. I <laughs> effing lost it. It was timed perfectly. That's so funny. That's amazing. Shout out to our ads, baby. Shout out to Mick. Oh, yes. If you like this story, check out this story of someone who also cares for their wife, but maybe a little too much when they called the cops on them. Nice. 